What's up you guys, Rex here. For those of you that are new here, I'm not a doctor yet by any means, but I am a medical student, so I'll be there soon enough. This past week in medical school, I learned about the coolest disease treatment I've ever learned about, and it reminds me very much of the movie I Am Legend. This movie I Am Legend, it's got like vampire zombies, Will Smith is in it. It's based on a book, I believe. I haven't read the book, so I don't know much about it. But I do know, the sort of start of this zombie vampire apocalypse is a modified measles vaccine that is supposed to be able to cure cancer. So everybody in the world gets this vaccine, supposed to cure cancer, some mutations happen, kills pretty much everyone. Of those that survive, a couple people like Will Smith, they live just fine. The rest of the people turn into vampire zombies, all that stuff. So how much of this movie medicine sci-fi actually has any basis in reality? So, as far as I know, there is no sort of virus that we can think of that is remotely turning you into a zombie in any way. There are some viruses, such as the rabies virus, that can alter your behavior, that most commonly people talk about the rabies virus making you afraid of water. So that can happen very far from giving you like super speed and super strength and turning you into a vampire zombie, anything like that. Now, the interesting thing is can a virus actually treat or cure cancer? So that was something I learned about this week. So first we have to talk about cancer and understand that cancer is a variety of diseases. It's difficult to talk about just cancer in general. So there will never be a single cure for cancer. There will hopefully be more and more cures for specific types of cancers because each cancer is very different. Now, one example I just learned about is glioblastoma. That is a cancer of the astrocytes in your brain. And so those are some of the cells in your brain that help neurons to work. So it's not the actual neurons themselves, but this is a very regrettably aggressive cancer and deadly cancer with a median survival of around 14 months that once you have this diagnosis, there's unfortunately very poor prognoses. And so we've been working really hard. I say we, the medical community, not me, I'm not doing anything yet, have been working really hard to improve this. And so now, we've looked towards some very interesting strategies. And one of those is the development of a virus to treat this cancer. So we have to talk a little bit about the polio virus. So polio has a vaccine for it. It has been pretty much eradicated in the Americas. It still is a problem in some parts of the world, but we have very effective vaccines, great achievement of modern medicine, Jonas Salk, save the world, that kind of thing, really cool. Now the polio virus is interesting because it demonstrates something called neurotropism. So neuro referring to neurons, referring to the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system, and tropism referring to a preference for. So the polio virus preferentially infects neurons, especially neurons of the spinal cord, leading to paralysis and very unfortunate complications of polio in certain patients. Now doctors, fittingly at Duke, where I'm privileged enough to happen to be a medical student, Doctors at Duke have found a way to modify this polio virus by mutating it with some rhinoviruses and doing all kinds of stuff way beyond my current level of education, where the polio virus preferentially only infects and kills the cancer cells of the glioblastoma. And so it has the main effect of actually killing cancer cells and only killing cancer cells, as well as activating the immune system to get the immune system to help out in killing those cells. And so this has been a real significant breakthrough treatment that the FDA has designated as a breakthrough treatment as something that could help immensely extend the lives of patients and has had real promising success so far. It's got a long way to go, but compared to the median survival of like 14 months, there has been drastic improvement where some patients from the original trial started in 2012 are still alive today. So it has been a huge success and is something basically out of science fiction where we are injecting people who have a really deadly form of cancer with a virus that has been modified that normally would have real detrimental effects to the nervous system. But instead, this virus through modern medicine has been modified to only infect the cancer cells, spare the host cells, and then eradicate the cancer and help the patient survive and fight off the cancer. If you wanna catch more of these videos where I talk about cool things that I learned in medical school, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear about them down below. I'll read and respond to every single comment. As always, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video. Until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great.